Massachusetts Department of Transportation held a public meeting in Somerville High School on Monday, October 23rd to update residents on the construction of the Green Line extension. So we're here tonight to talk about the Green Line extension program and let everybody know where we are with the procurement for the design build contractor. Uh, it's been about a nine month process and we're getting towards the tail end of that. I just want to tell everybody where we are and what's coming up in the next few months and next few years. I'm most interested in hearing about the timeline for when things are going to happen. I think a lot of this um, work is going to be done in Ward 2, so I want to make sure that um, I'm able to communicate with people in my ward about what to expect. Presenting with Marty Nee and Randy Hinkey as the outreach manager and the design lead respectively, Dalton revealed that 7 out of 11 steps are either on or ahead of schedule and that they are planning on creating an outreach group to ensure that everyone is represented in the planning process. And so I'm glad that the community is staying actively involved. Um, yes, there has been a delay and it's unfortunate but it will happen and we still need to make sure our voice is at the table while they are still in the planning phases. So I look forward to hearing some of the questions but I'm sure most of it um, will center around the community path and the lack of that. 32 people were given the opportunity to voice their concerns and opinion. While residents did acknowledge that MassDOT had been good at keeping the public updated through emails, most of them were concerned that the community path is numbered as the fifth in a list of six priorities. So they're doing, they're doing some things right. However, the bicycle path debate, plus the fact that they didn't really consult the community on uh, priorities for the project, um, they need to do better. They can do better. I want everyone in this audience to, to understand that the, the priorities, the add back priorities, that was a list that was developed um, by the GLX team and was announced to the delegation members. We, we were presented with this finished list and all of us said, you should get public input. We're not sure. In fact, we'd rather think that this would not be the list that the people of Somerville would choose. So we very much hope that the community path will be designed and built as part of the Green Line. If not, it puts the city and the community and the stakeholders in the untenable position of scrambling to, def to find design and then construction money in a very short time period in a very complex project being the green line. Other than the community path, people also voiced their concerns on construction noise, alternative options to catch rodents, and to make sure that the Department of Transportation is not taking land property from residents, as said by Representative Mike Connolly. Just the rodent issue, um, reports of rodents, and, and I know that the project team had put some traps out um, in response to some requests, but really just want to highlight that as something we hear about constantly. Uh, second concern is specific to those folks, um, like some of my constituents who are here tonight, who received those letters um, about the uh, takings or the, the easements and that sort of thing. If you could just sort of speak to um, any sort of land, um, you know, any kind of uh, taking or any kind of transfer of land uh, for individual residents. News and updates about the project can be seen under the Projects tab at MassDOT's website. You can also sign up for their email updates. For Somerville Neighborhood News, this is Sheena Superman.